Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about OSPF LSA types. These are the types of LSA. Router LSA, that is a type 1. Network LSA, type 2. Network Summary LSA, type 3. And ASBR, Autonomous System Border Router Summary LSA, is a type 4. And External LSA is type 5. And Not So Stubby Area LSA is type 7. There is also a type 6 LSA, that is a multicast LSA, which is not being used nowadays. Um, what is a type 1 LSA? Type 1 LSA is nothing but it gives you information about your directly connected links and it lies within the area. Second is about a type 2 LSA. It also lies within the area and it will be used when you have a multi access network, that is, when you have DR and BDR election and DR and BDR is being used. At that uh, case, the network LSA will be used. Next is about a uh, network summary LSA. Network summary LSA is nothing but a type 3 LSA which gives you information about inter area routes. That is, uh, if you are in area 0, it helps you give you information about uh, area 1 and other areas. Different areas information can get in type 3 LSA. This L uh, type of LSA is being generated by ABR, that is Autonomous Border Router. Sorry, Area Border Router. Type 3 LSA is generated by the Area Border Router. Next is about uh, Type 4 LSA. Type 4 LSA is also generated by the ABR, but it gives you information about how to reach the ASBR. It just tells uh, you can reach ASBR by this way. This is that is uh, that is about a uh, type 4 LSA. Next is about a uh, type 5 LSA. Type 5 LSA, which gives you uh, information about a uh, redistributed prefixes. That is, if you need to reach any um, network outside of OSPF, you need to go to the ASBR. That information is given by the type 4, and from there you will get uh, information about a uh, redistributed networks. So that is about a uh, type 5 LSA. Next is about a uh, type 7 LSA, uh, which we are not going to see in this session. It is used for some special areas as stubby area or not so stub. Um, in that cases, it will be used. Let's get into a more clear information about LSA types. This is the diagram that we are going to see about for LSA types. This is the uh, topology that we are going to see. And for type 1, that is a router LSA. Here in this case, it will be generated by R3. If you just look at R3, it has a single area. That is the area 1 only is there. It doesn't connect it to any other areas. It will generate a type 1 LSA. And uh, in case of type 2 LSA, here also it will also generate a type 1 LSA. And if it needs to generate a type 2 LSA, there should be a DR and BDR election between them. If there is a DR and BDR, then they will generate a type 2 LSA or else type 2 LSA will not be generated. Next is about a type 3 LSA which is a um, network summary LSA. It will be generated in the ABR. If you look at here, in this case the connection between the area 0 and area 1 is given by R2. The R2 here is the ABR. So this is the router that is going to give you information about uh, summary LSA that is a network summary LSA between these two areas it will be generated in terms of OIA that is nothing but a notification uh, or identity that is in terms of EAGRP it will be given in terms of D for OSPF it will be O but between the areas it will be given in terms of OIA that is a inter area routes OSPF inter area routes that's what is uh, OIA so it will give you information about this. Um, this will give about what all the networks that it will be having in this network to area 1 and this all the information will be given to area 0. So this is about a uh, type 3 LSA. Next is about a uh, type 4 LSA. Type 4 LSA is nothing but which gives you information how to reach a ASPR. Let's consider we are having a on routing protocol as EAGRP in R5 that is running in uh, R5 and R1 is also running the EAGRP. So what happens is that 
this R1 will become ASBR. R1 will become ASBR since it has two routing protocols. It will become autonomous system border router and uh, R2 knows about this. It is a ASBR and it has a information about how to reach the autonomous system border router. It stores the information about ASBR and it will send to other areas over here. So all other areas also knows how to reach the autonomous system border router. So the information will be stored or information will be known to all other routers. So in order to reach ASBR we need to go via this way. So this is what a type 4 LSA is about. Next is about a type 5 LSA. Uh, consider if you are having a network as 1.1.1.1 slash 32. If you are having this network and this network is being advertised in the, um, the, the AGRP and it is being redistributed to OSPF. So it will be um, in the networks of all other OS routers that is in R2, R3. Whichever the routers can learn about these prefixes it will be shown. So this is what is about a type 5 LSE. How to reach uh, ASBR is given in terms of type 4. And what are the prefixes that is being redistributed from one routing protocol to the other routing protocol will be stored in terms of type 5 LSA. This is what about LSA types and there is a special area type called as a type 7 LSA that we will see about in the upcoming sessions. Okay, that's it about LSA types. If you have any queries or questions regarding LSA types just give a comment thanks for watching until next time